Hey, what's up, my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Hunter's new Bluetooth node. So this is very similar to Hunter's uh, family of nodes that they've had for a very long time, but this one operates on Bluetooth, which means you can control it with your smartphone. Okay, you do have to be close to the device because it uses Bluetooth, which is basically, you know, line of sight or, you know, 50 feet, 100 feet, something like that. So you can't be on the other side of the country and pipe it up through the cloud. You do have to be on site and close to it, but it is an extremely easy way to uh, to control the device from your smartphone. So what I want to do is I'm going to flip the camera over. We're going to unbox this. We're going to take a look at it. All right, flip it around. There's my phone. I'll turn that off so it doesn't distract you. Okay, nice packaging by Hunter. They've really done a good job putting their packaging together recently. Oh, look, it's our instruction manual, which we never use until the day we want it, and then we've thrown it away. Um, good news, you can download them online. So let's take all the pieces out first. Here is our node. Well, here's our bracket. Um, it looks like... Oh, interesting, they've wired this together, which can be helpful. So we'll go ahead and undo this. Pull that apart, take out this plastic piece. We'll set the box and everything off to the side for now. Cool, so let's take a look. There is, this is the actual node. This is the control device. And then we have uh, a solenoid, so Hunter, now ships this with a DC latching solenoid. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this apart too so we can take a look at it. I'm not sure when they started doing this, but I think it's a good idea. A lot of people buy battery operated controllers only to find out that a battery operated uh, controller will not work with a standard solenoid and you need these special DC latching solenoids. So on here we have gray wires, yellow wires and the red valve wire. So this is a one zone or a single station battery controller. Let's take the cover off. This is a nice rubber cover. I'd probably would just leave that on to help protect the device when it is in the valve box. Then we have a couple other pieces here. So I think the most common uh, device to use is gonna be, it's gonna be this guy. And what you do is you take the brain and you put it in here. And then when your solenoid is installed on the valve, this um, lets you, I can get this on here correctly. Let's put the wires through. There we go. So what this does is it lets you mount the node on your solenoid. So when your solenoid is on the valve, it'll, it'll hold it like this. Okay, let's take another look. It'll hold it just like this in the valve box for you. And if you notice that the cutout on here, that's for your wires. So when you put the solenoid on your valve, then the wires can tuck in on the mounting bracket, and then you can set it in there like that. All right, very helpful. Uh, mount by Hunter that'll keep this control box controller, if you will, out of the uh, out of the dirt, the grime, the water. Um, I do want to unscrew this so we can take a look at what's inside. Well, there we go. Tell that's a nice fit, and there is where you put your nine volt batteries. So you use two nine volt batteries. Just double check the packaging. They were not included. So yes, this note is from the eighties. Batteries are not included. And put this back together. Okay, and then we'll screw the bracket back on. That's how you can see where the batteries go. And then there is a simple iPhone app that you can use. It's called the Node BT. You can download it from the App Store. I'm not gonna connect it here because we have no batteries, but I have connected uh, to this and I have also connected to the Bluetooth tap timer. And I would say that the only 
You know, really the only thing I think Hunter missed on this was there really should be one application that connects to the Bluetooth tap timer and to the node and to the HydroWise platform. So really, in my opinion, Hunter kind of missed that by, by not just having one app that connects their entire uh, family of either Bluetooth or uh, Wi-Fi and cloud devices together. So Hunter, if you're watching this, you should really just make one app and connect it all together. But otherwise, you do need a separate app for each of those, an app for your HydroWise controller, an app for your Bluetooth timer, and an app for your Node uh, BT or your Node Bluetooth. So. I think that is, uh, that's really it. Oh, um, I didn't mention, did not talk about this gray bracket here. This is to be mounted um, like to the side of the wall. And then what you can do is you can take this bracket, put it, put it here, then take the timer and set it in there. So there are instances where these are not installed in valve boxes. It might just be one, it might be on the side of a wall. Maybe your controller failed, you were just doing one zone. Who knows, there's a lot of use cases, but this is kind of more of a, of a wall mount bracket um, or another way to, to mount the node Bluetooth in a different spot. So I hope that helps. If there's anything that we can support you with any questions you have. If you want to know how to retrofit your system to use something like this, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, you know, this, oh, I forgot to mention, this product is compatible with any irrigation uh, control valve. The only thing you have to make sure of is that you get the correct DC latching solenoid. So let's say you have a, I'm gonna make this up, a Toro 252 valve you need to make sure you get the correct DC latching solenoid for the Toro 252 valve. Or if you have a Weathermatic Silver Bullet, you need the correct DC latching solenoid for the Weathermatic Silver Bullet. Or if you have a Rainbird PGA, you need to get a Rainbird DC latching solenoid. Then you can just cut this one off and splice your own on. Um, oh, also this is compatible with Hunter's click devices. So you can hook up their rain click, uh, their, uh, I think their solar sink, their uh, soil click, their whole family of click devices is also compatible with this. So again, I kind of jumped to the end, but wanted to mention that as well. And again, if we can help you with anything, don't hesitate to reach out. You can hit us up by phone, chat, email, and text message. So that's it guys. Until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.